I think about Jesus' ministry and how there was 30 years of preparation for a three and a half year ministry. Wow. <laughs> and our preparation hasn't just been the past 10 years here in Harrisburg. I actually got started, first time I launched forth in ministry was the summer of 1975. It's amazing to me. And now exactly 40 years later in the in 19 in 2015 God is releasing me and my wife to the world so I want you to understand God will take his time to work on you he will take his time to prepare you I believe I, I think about how many of the different seasons that we were in in our life and there were seasons of prosperity and seasons of leanness and uh, we, Carol and I kind of describe it like the, the, the seasons uh, and with the weather. There have been seasons of autumn when the leaves are falling and there's seasons of winter when everything just seems to be just dead. And there's seasons of spring when life is returning and, and there's seasons of summer when it's just hot and, and, uh, and labor has to take place even in the midst of that type of hot, but there's harvest. <laughs> so you just, you just, you have to get accustomed to all of the seasons of life and the seasons of ministry. And you can be thinking that because it's summertime, I'm arrived. The weather's great, I'm feeling good, I'm, I'm reaping the benefits of my labor and all of that. And so you can feel like you arrive and actually, uh, it's just a season of summer. And it's not the arrival time. It's not the fulfillment of all that God has promised and wants to do with your life. And I think what happens to us sometimes is after we go through a summer season and then fall comes, many of us start to think that we failed. We think that God has abandoned us. Uh, we, we feel personally like uh, we've done something wrong and we're out of God's will because the same trees in our life that were bearing fruit and flourishing with leaves, now we're watching the leaves turn brown and yellow and they're falling. And it's like, God, what happened to my ministry? What, what happened to the calling? Nothing happened to it. It's just you're moving into another season. And so when you go through that all the time, it can feel like, uh, well, really, what's the point of all this? I seem to be on an endless cycle going nowhere. But I'm saying this to say, just like God has taken 40 years to prepare us for this new time in our lives, which we believe is the time of the very reason for God giving us life and breath. We're stepping into our life's work, the eternal purpose that God had for us all along. It takes a long time to reach that one. Many times, especially in this generation where uh, young people, you guys in particular, you go to four years of high school or you can go and take a trade school, go to a couple of years at a community college and you feel like you're ready for the world because you didn't put in all these years from elementary school through high school and trade school and you're ready to take on the world and step forth into your your ordained purpose for all of your life and we're here to tell you nah you're just getting started <laughs> and i don't say that to discourage you but to let you know that when you see life not lining up like what you thought that that's the time more than ever to trust god god puts you on a marathon life is not a sprint he puts you on a marathon and the preparations that you went going through in elementary school and high school and even college, those who've gotten bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, even doctorate degrees, it still was all a part of the preparation to get you ready for ultimately for what God wants to do, what God wants to do with your life. 